Our scripture reading for today is a continuation of the story of Noah's Ark, as it's commonly called, from Genesis, a few verses from chapter 7 and then chapter 8. We are in a series of worship services that explore stories from scripture about people of faith enduring long periods of time. Last week, we heard one of the primordial stories from the book of Genesis about how evil and violence had overtaken creation, and God decided one best last chance was necessary. So Noah's family was chosen to survive for a second beginning. Today, we resume that story. Listen for the word of God. The flood continued 40 days on the earth. And the waters increased and bore up the ark, and it rose high above the earth. The waters swelled and increased greatly on the earth, and the ark floated on the face of the waters. Only Noah was left and those that were with him in the ark. And the waters swelled on the earth for 150 days. But God remembered Noah and all the wild animals and all the domestic animals that were with him in the ark. And God made a wind blow over the earth and the waters subsided. The fountains of the deep and the windows of the heavens were closed. The rain from the heavens were restrained and the waters gradually receded from the earth. At the end of 150 days, the waters had abated. And in the seventh month, On the seventeenth day of the month, the ark came to rest on the mountains of Ararat. The waters continued to abate until the tenth month. In the tenth month, on the first day of the month, the tops of the mountains appeared. At the end of forty days, Noah opened the window of the ark that he had made and sent out the raven. And it went to and fro until the waters were dried up from the earth. Then he sent out the dove from him to see if the waters had subsided from the face of the ground. But the dove found no place to set its foot, and it returned to him to the ark, for the waters were still on the face of the whole earth. So he put out his hand and took it and brought it into the ark with him. He waited another seven days, and again he sent out the dove from the ark. And the dove came back to him in the evening, and there in its beak was a freshly plucked olive leaf. So Noah knew that the waters had subsided from the earth. Then he waited another seven days and sent out the dove, and it did not return to him any more. In the 601st year, in the first month, the first day of the month, the waters were dried up from the earth, and Noah removed the covering of the ark and looked, and saw that the face of the ground was drying. In the second month, on the 27th day of the month, the earth was dry. Then God said to Noah, Go out of the ark, you and your wife and your sons and your sons' wives with you. Bring out with you every living thing that is with you of all flesh. Birds and animals and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth so that they may abound on the earth and be fruitful and multiply on the earth. So Noah went out with his sons and his wife and his sons' wives and every animal, every creeping thing and every bird, everything that moves on the earth went out of the ark by families. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord and took of every clean animal and of every clean bird and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And when the Lord smelled the pleasing odor, the Lord said in his heart, I will never again curse the ground because of humankind, for the inclination of the human heart is evil from youth, nor will I ever again destroy every living creature as I have done. As long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night shall not cease. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 